This is a demonstration of how to draw a pentagon of a given side length using a protractor, a pencil, a straight edge, and a compass. How this differs from other methods is that you use a tool with degrees on it called a protractor. And um, this is not a very accurate one. Well, it's accurate, but it's not very easy to read as it's uh, dirty and um, and a little bit dark, so it's kind of hard for me to read this, but I will try it anyway. Okay, so what this is based upon is a mathematical principle of circles and triangles that I will write out for you here, and we'll, we'll do a little check. The first thing is that any triangle of any shape, this one, call that equilateral, call this one 90 degrees um, here, call this one a 45 degree triangle where it's 90 degrees but these are 45. That's a type, type of triangle. This one is 60, 60, 60 and this is unknown but we know a property that all three of these have in common and that is that 60 plus 60 plus 60 equals 180 degrees. 45 plus 45 is 90 plus another 90 equals 180. So no matter what triangle you're drawing you end up with 180 degrees between all three angles in the triangle. Another property is that all circles, if you divide it up into degrees, there's 360 degrees in a circle. All right, so here's a thing to consider. If there's 360 degrees in a circle, what if you divided a circle into fifths? So you have a radius point, and you go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. That would mean that you take 360 and you divide it by five. Okay, so let's try that out. I'll give it a little more room. Three, six, zero, divide by five. It goes into 36, um, six times, let's see, uh, sorry, five times. Six times? Six. Seven times? Yeah, that's what it is. And this is why I don't use this method. Okay, seven times. Okay, that's 35. So you subtract, you get a total of 10 degrees. Oops. Uh, remaining, and that can be divided in twice. So you have 72 degrees. So that's 72 there, 72 there. 72, 72, 72. So we know for sure now that in a pentagon, if you divided up uh, this circle into fifths, you're going to have 72 degrees for all of these. Well, since these represent triangles, it means that you have a triangle shape like this. 72 here. These two are equal to each other because this comes from the radius point and wherever it touches the outside, the angles between these two are, are equal. So if that's 72 degrees, this is 180 minus 72 divided in half. So you have both of these. So we take 180 minus 72, and it comes to 7, 1, so that's 8, 108 degrees. 108 divided in half, 108 divided in 2, gives you 5, so that's 10, that's 0, 8, and that goes in 4, so it's 54 degrees. 54 and 54. Okay, those are properties that we need to know and to prove out to be able to make this uh, protractor work for you, knowing what angle to go with. Okay, so now we're going to look at one more thing here. I'm going to draw a rough pentagon. Oh boy, that's very rough, but that's okay, because this is all theoretical. I have a midpoint, and I have this triangle here. We know that that's 72 degrees, this is 54, that's 54, and that means this is 54. So the angle between here and there, going from that side, is actually 108 here, 108 degrees. Okay, that's about all the math that we're going to deal with, because I can go with this at 90 to 100 
2, 110, subtract 2, that's 108. So now, if you forget about all of this, the important thing is knowing that you need 108 degrees. And I was just showing you how that was derived to begin with. Okay, so now I'm just going to pretend that doesn't exist and only work over here. Okay, so I'm going to draw a uh, line which represents the length of a pentagon side. And it's, it's just a given dimension, but I don't know what that is. It's from here to here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is use this protractor to go from this point and then later to that point and make sure that I get exactly 108 degrees. So I'm going to carefully line this up and I need magnifying glasses to read it. So I'm lining this little crosshair up to the point and making sure that the line across here matches the one I drew. And then I go to 90, 100, 110, 109, 108, and I put a little mark there. That mark, I'll be able to draw a line that goes from this point through there, and that will be an accurate 108 degrees or the corner I need for a pentagon. I'm going to do the same for the other side. So I'm lining up my uh, protractor properly, carefully, and mark off this 108. And do the same thing, drawing carefully, I'm trying to get that angle drawn. I'm not drawing very heavy because these are too long. I don't need them that long. So now I'm going to get to my compass. My compass, hey, that is amazing. Well, that was just a guess. <laughs> that was the same size as the one I did in a different demo. And uh, making sure it's right on. Okay, so I come up here and I mark that length. This is the length and that is the length of the pentagon. So come over to this point and find that length. So we've got one, two, three equal lengths. Now from here, I will make an arc, and from there make an arc and they'll cross. This is a method of making sure that this length and that length match, and that since I know that this angle here is correct and this angle is correct, that one will have to be, and so will that one. So now I can use my straight edge to draw the remainder of these lines and then subtract what is irrelevant and maybe darken in some of these marks that I'm making. So I'll make this one, one a little bit more intense or bold so you can see it easier and this one too. Okay, so now I can erase there, there, there. Get the extraneous stuff gone. I've got a nice pentagon, one that was done using a protractor, a straight edge, pencil, and a compass.